Hi Leo, it's L here to do your mid-March 2018 general reading. We'll do love, career and finance, and then home and family. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscriptions, the new and old. All right, we'll save the announcements to the end. Uh, all of my information to reach me for personal reading is below. Okay. Now let's get started. What are the messages for love for Leo? Love messages for Leo. True, accurate messages for Leo. Four of Cups. Ace of Wands. Temperance. Nine of Pentacles. Looks like someone's not taken to an offer. It might just be sex-based. It takes you off, takes you off balance every single time you let this person back in. It could be a Sagittarius. You just rather remain single and just and wait for who or what you're you're looking for. What's good for you? All right. Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone's just sneaky, a liar, cheat. They're out to get what they want. Ace of Pentacles. So might be a new solid offer that comes in by way of the universe this could be in relationship Look at the emperor here it could be Aries be an offer from Taurus also this could be taking a relationship to the next level this could be engagement this could be a large purchase the ace of Pentacles is so vast but it's a material type of situation, a tower. And what I'm hearing is that this offer wasn't rooted in anything solid. It came from someone who didn't have the best intentions. Strength, then there's you. Yeah. The tower and the strength. You gotta have strength to get through this situation. Uh, it looks like it's a situation of someone just not being open, not being honest um, about their true intentions. And that could be that they just want sex. Uh, they want a casual relationship. They could be telling you that, you know proposal and taking a relationship is on the horizon but they may have never had that in mind in the first place here let's see if we can get more messages for leo king of swords some of you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius typically the king of swords is aquarius or libra six of swords moving away from conflict drama turbulence here could be actually physically moving the emperor wow moving away from drama and getting back in control taking your power back with the emperor could be dealing with the taurus aries here knight of swords someone rushes in with truth their truth queen of pentacles could be dealing with the capricorn virgo taurus Ace of Swords, what did I say? It's some truth that comes in and it sheds some light, some clarity. Knight of Pentacles, so many people here. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. There's a solid offer that wants to come in. Maybe it's coming in from a Virgo. We got the Hermit here. Someone is not out and about. Someone is not Hierophant definitely could be dealing with the Taurus. Five of Cups, Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. There could be like a third party situation. I am seeing there's a lot of people here.
There's somebody with a solid offer. Could be this Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Then there's the King of Pentacles, um, the King of Swords. They come in and offer truth, maybe surrounding um, an established relationship. We have two fives here, five of cups, five of swords. Somebody could be in a third party situation. They're trying to move away from that or cut away that type of energy. But then someone comes back and gives their truth about, you know, why they had Leo in that type of situation anyway or vice versa. But it looks like you just walk away. You grieve the situation. You may have some harsh words. And you walk away. The truth came out. It shed clarity and light for you. And now you can have a new passionate start. Four of Cups not taken. Right. Four of Cups. Not taken to this offer. Because it's a third party situation. And it may just be based and rooted in, in sexual gratification. For someone. And someone else wanted something else. Yeah. I'm just seeing Leo not taken to, to the offer. It's not what you want. Okay. I'm going to do one more love spread and then we'll get out of here. Thank you for messages for Leo and love. True, accurate messages for Leo and love. Messages of love and light. Messages to govern and guide their lives in love. Romantic messages for Leo and love. Of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Temperance, Four of Wands, King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, clearly, this is a situation surrounding a relationship or lack thereof. There's no solid foundation here. Someone's been through a lot. Maybe dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They see no way out of this situation. Or they don't want to let you go. Or you don't want to let them go. But spirit, heavenly signs are here for you to take heed to. The red flags are here. The moon is here. There's so much unknown and so many lies and half-truths. To where you would probably be the fool to stay. I'm feeling like I, I can't say that this is a new development, a new, this isn't anything new for you right now because you're still within the energy of, of the tower, breaking down that oldness, that old foundation, that old, that old way of thinking. Nine of Wands, you've been through so much in this situation. You need to gain clarity emotional balance spiritual healing with the temperance okay, you need to move forward effortlessly and in victory the sun is here the universe will shed some light for you some of you feel like you're in the dark or you know that you aren't in the dark but the universe is just coming in and saying hey it's right here whatever it may be you know, infidelity. It looks like in all three spreads, it's just some, someone not being honest. Could be you, Leo. Could be someone else. All right, let's do career and finance. Thank you for the messages for Leo. 
and career and finance. Career and finance. Thank you for the messages for Leo and career and finance. Okay, career and finance for Leo. Career and finance for Leo. And the messages for Leo. Okay. Um, I'm going to put these back in. If they want to come out. Career and finance for Leo. All right. So the foundation, you know that you need to go a new route. You need to chart a new path. You might be in prayer and meditation about this. Wow. Okay. The fool. For the basis for all of this, you're willing to take the risk elsewhere. Two of Swords, yeah. In the present, you know you have to make the decision. You haven't made it yet. In the past, you have the higher offense. It might be in regards to a large corporation, an institution, uh, the clergy, the government, justice department, legal. Going forward, we have the devil. Right, codependency, karmic ties, third party situations. Your power is the queen of swords. External to you is the king of swords. Hopes and fears is the six of cups. And the outcome is the high priestess. Use your intuition here. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. So, this is in regards to your stability, how you make money, in regards to uh, long-term lifestyle and, and um, career. This could be a marriage, too. This could be a little of everything here. Career and in relationship. Lots of decisions to be made. Two of Swords, Two of Wands. Someone needs to chart a new path, a new development here. Hopes and fears is the Six of Cups, maybe something from the past. You want something from your past to resurface here? Listen to your intuition, maybe in regards to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There might be codependency here. Some of you are feeling stuck because of codependency. Where there's, you know, financial dependency emotional the ace of cups the four of cups could be dealing with the capricorn someone wants to rekindle a relationship reignite the flame on a third party situation they have no intention of ever giving you what you want it looks like you're not going to take to it anyhow they might be bored is the reason why they're coming back or, or they never left. All right. What is the Hierophant? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you want something that reciprocates. You want something that is equal. You want something that's give and take. Seven of Cups. This situation makes you extremely confused. Or someone likes to cast illusions as if they care. As if they really in it for the long term but it looks like they're just in it for what they can get from it might have wands right this could be that person they're in and out they're flighty queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio four of wands It's like, yeah, some, listen to your intuition. The universe, the tower is here again with the four of wands. The universe is trying to break this down. Some of you keep holding on to a relationship that should have been done away with a long time ago. It's karmic. It's third party. 
So you guys are probably being cold to each other. You need to make a decision to walk away or stay if you're okay with that. What is the high priestess? The seven of swords. Yeah, it's exactly what you think. Someone is being dishonest, disloyal, untrustworthy, a liar, a cheat, or a thief. King of Wands, it could be another fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This could be you, Leo. Five of Cups. That third party situation. Grieving it. Once again, it's, you know, it looks like there's a decision to be made as to which way you go in love. There wasn't much in regards to Pentacles. You might not be focused on your money as much right now because your love life may have you all over the place let's get some cards of support and advice we're going to use a butterfly oracle cards get some cards of support and advice thank you for the messages for leo true accurate messages for leo messages of love and light messages to govern and guide their lives thank you for the messages for leo true accurate messages sentimental feelings relationship dynamics self-care changing your mind keep the faith moving all right dietary change sentimental feelings relationship dynamics relationship dynamics talks about uh, of course the structure the dynamics of the relationship have altered shifted in a fashion to where maybe there's someone else in the relationship there's some different There are different feelings. Different feelings have awakened in regards to the relationship. Sentimental feelings. The sentiment is there. This isn't emotions. This isn't love. But it's almost like necessary. It's almost ob obligatory. Is that a word? It's a lot of obligation. You know? For some of my Leos are feeling obligated to a situation. To a certain relationship. Though the relationship has changed. Uh, they're feeling a different way about it. The cards say take care of self, self-care. This is also being true to you, being true to what you want. Put self first. You could be changing your mind about a previous decision you made because now you have more clarity. You have uh, more information. Keep the faith that everything will turn out in the fashion that it's supposed to turn out in. Moving. Some of you could be physically moving. Uh, moving away from a person. Moving away. Moving out of a, a shared home. Moving away from negative emotions. It, I mean, it could, be, it could be so many different things. Dietary change. Goes hand in hand with self-care. Take care of yourself. There might be a health care change for you. Or there needs to be one. You need to look at your diet. To make sure that you are um, feeding your body the best food that you can possibly, um, that you think is best. Because this is all up to you. It's all opinion. Oh, wow. Then when I took off a dietary change, we got leaving. So some of you are definitely moving, leaving, leaving a situation, leaving a relationship. I did see that. There's a lot of... In decision, there's a lot of decisions to be made. Some of you are leaving. Some of you are going to stay. All right? Okay. So, those are the messages for Leo. Thank you for taking time out to, you know, listen to the reading. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instago. Ask me a question or two there. Request a personal reading by emailing me. My email address is below. Take advantage of the $30, 30 minute readings. All right. So thanks guys. Um, 
talk to you soon. All right. And remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.